Hello everybody, I am to ignore you from TikTok and today I'm going to be showing off my entire JoJo collection and I might as well show a little bit of my other series that I have in my collection as well. I'm going to quickly pan through my entire collection so that you could, guys could see like a preview, a quick preview before I go into detail. So my top shelves include my art books. Below that is the entire Japanese volumes of Jojo. Gucci shelves with Jolene. Oh, my Berserk shelf. Rohan Gucci shelf. Other Rocky light novels and mangas. Another Berserk shelf. All the English hardcovers. More Jojo. One Piece, Monster, Death Note, etc. Some other art books I own. Full Metal Alchemist, Beastars. My Hunter Hunter shelves. And lastly, Tokyo Revengers and other Japanese volumes I own. I'm going to start off by showing the art books. This is the limited edition version of Jojo Veller. It comes with a premium case. It comes with an additional sleeve that contains the history book and the stand encyclopedia. This is the history book that goes over everything that happened in Jojo, in the Jojo manga, talks about Araki and his editors, and just in general the history of Araki. The stand encyclopedia shows every stand from Stardust Crusaders to the early part of Jojolian. It shows off their stand stats, stand performance, stand history, etc. The limited edition also exclusively comes with two Blu-rays. The first Blu-ray documents the Jojo Exhibition 2012. The second Blu-ray is the behind the scenes of how Araki does his artworks. Lastly, the art book itself. This art book focuses on parts 6 Stone Ocean to part 8 Jojolian, but it includes other previous parts and other Araki works and his mangas. In my personal opinion, this is the best art book that has come out so far in terms of quality. Here's some Stone Ocean artwork. The infamous drawing of Anasui being a woman. Part 3, part 4 artwork. Steel Ball Run artwork. Jojolian artwork. I think this is my favorite one. I might draw it in the future. This is the standard edition of Jojo Veller. It comes in this case. Next up is Jojo Agogo. The cover comes with a spinning wheel so you could change Trisha's face. Inside is the art book itself. Similar to Jojo Veller, it comes with a stand book. This stand book goes over the stands from part 3 to part 5. It has their stand stats, stand ability, stand history, stand battles, etc. It also comes with a history book of Araki detailing his trips all over the world and history about Jojo. Here's the front cover of the art book and the back cover. And here's how it looks without the sleeve. It's a hard cover. The art book starts with all the characters dancing together. This is based on a Vogue photo shoot that Araki was inspired by. Josuke being Josuke. Killer Queen in the world, I don't know what they're doing. Avdol and Polnareff. The Pillarmen. This art book focuses on parts 5 and parts 4 and parts 3. And it includes a little bit of the earlier parts too. The 
The next art book is Jojo 6251. To my Jojolian fans, this name might sound familiar. Here's how the art book looks without the sleeve. This art book comes with two posters. This one and a way longer one. This art book focuses on parts 1 through 4. Phantom Blood with Jonathan. Battle Tendency with Joseph. Stardust Crusaders with And Diamond is Unbreakable with Josuke. In the back it shows a timeline of Jojo, a glossary for Jojo terms, character stats, character descriptions, data, and a section of Araki and his earlier works as well. This is the Ripples of Adventure art book. This is the Jotaro cover. To my knowledge, this is the only art book that has English and Japanese translations. So here you can see the Japanese and here you can see the English. And it just goes over the artworks that were in the exhibition. So part one to part eight. They had the original transcripts in the museum as well. So if you went to the museum, this is how you would have seen a section, all these characters on the walls. The next art book is a different, similar art book, but a different cover. And this one is only in Japanese. This one was for Osaka and the first one was for Tokyo. Here are just more artworks that were displayed in the exhibition. And this one also comes with a foldout. The next art book was also for an exhibition back in 2012. This one's a pretty short art book. Just part uh, artwork for from Phantom Blood all the way to Jujolian. The next art book is Hirohiko Araki Works. This is one of my favorite art books. It's very compact and the covers is beautiful, the sleeve is beautiful, and it's packed with all the artwork. So it starts off with Araki's works before Phantom Blood, then Phantom Blood, Battle Tendency, Stardust Crusaders, Diamond is Unbreakable, Golden Wind, Stone Notion, Steel Ball Run. Jojolian, and other miscellaneous works. The next art book is the TV animation guide. So it's artwork from the anime. Here's how it looks without the sleeve. And it has side-by-side -side anime stills, cells, however you call them. Pretty sure that's a five and below poster, to be honest. Okay, the next art book is Jojo Nickel. It's also from the Ripples of Adventure exhibition. Here's it without the cover. This art book is mainly mainly packed with information, things to do while you're at the exhibition. And towards the back is the artwork. Also from parts one to part eight. Next is Jojo Menon. It's more like a magazine art book. Just goes over Araki, Araki meeting Clint Eastwood, him meeting the Gucci director. This one also includes Rohan goes to Gucci. So if you don't want to buy the magazine separately, you can buy it. It comes in here. The next art book I have is for the Sass figures, Super Action Statues. It just goes over some of these statues they own, their parts and some poses you could use. Next up is the Jojo Magazine. Here's how it looks about the cover. This magazine includes a Rohan one-shot for the spoke Rohan Kishibe. It includes the Avdo and Iggy short story and the Lisa Lisa short story. It also comes with a sticker or a postcard, but I haven't opened it yet. Next up to my Gucci magazines. This is the Jojo X Gucci X Jolene magazine. Here's the like actual fashion that came out with the magazine. This is the magazine itself. So what Jolene is wearing in this manga 
Gucci came out with. So you could actually buy the pieces, which is super cool, but I have no idea how to find them. But I feel like this artwork is so beautiful. Okay, next is the Rohan Gucci magazines. Little section with a Rocky and Rohan. Rohan goes to the Louvre, a fashion show. Here's the Rohan magazine. Next is a uh, Jolene and Spur. So this basically just includes a photo shoot with the voice actor of Jolene in Stone Ocean. Okay, finally we could start showing off the manga. Here's the English Jojonium hardcovers. Each hardcover comes with an interview in the back with a Rocky. And here's the Phantom Blood Japanese covers. Next up is part 2, Battle Tendency. Next up is Stardust Crusaders in English, hardcovers. Stardust Crusaders originally came out in paperback back in the early 2000-2010s, so I own some of those and here's how they look like. Next is the Japanese covers. Next up is the Diamond is Unbreakable hardcovers. So the covers changed since the Jojonium both in Japanese and English only go up to part 3. Here's the Japanese singles. There's only been four Golden Wind hardcovers. And here's the rest of the Japanese singles. Here's Stone Ocean. I think Stone Ocean has my favorite covers, in my opinion. Here's the Steel Ball Run covers and some alternate covers that come in the Ultra Jump magazine.
Here's the Seal Ball Run box set. I like the art around it. It also has art in the inside, which, which is pretty neat. And the covers of these are different from the singles, which I like. Next up is Jojolian. I also have some alternate covers for these. Next up is the light novels. This is a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Genesis of the Universe. It's a part 3 light novel before Jotaro and the Crusaders got to Dio. The next one is the book, Fourth Another Day. I have two paperback editions and a hardcover. It's a Diamond is Unbreakable light novel. It takes place after Diamond is Unbreakable. And I believe Koichi is the main character here. Then I have the Thus Spoke Rohan Kishibe light novels, there's two. Then is a Golden Wind light novel, comes with a poster. It takes place right before the, you know, the Fugo moment and Narancha swimming. My favorite light novel is Purple Haze Feedback. It takes place after Golden Wind ends and Fugo is the main character and it talks about his like redemption arc, you know. Next is a part 6 light novel. It's about Dio and his diary. So it's the diary that they talk about in Stone Ocean. Next is George Joestar. It's like an alternate, like what if... Next, we have like a collection of Araki's mangas. So this one's under execution, under jailbreak. It contains Dolce and his master, Dead Man's Questions, and Thus Spoke Rohan Kijibe. Dead Man's Question takes place after Diamond is Unbreakable ends, and it's about Kira, so he's the main character in this short, short manga. Here's how the regular paperback edition looks like. It's in a smaller, smaller size. Next is Thus Spoke Rohan Kishibe, the manga. Some of these have been adapted into anime and some have been adapted into a live action too. Next up is Rohan at the Louvre. It's fully colored and I think it's really nice. So, and it's only $20, so it's pretty cheap. Next, I have some Ultra Jump magazines. I have a Jojolian, I have two Jojolian ones. This one's the last chapter of Jojolian. Also have this Rohan Ultra Jump cover. I have this Phantom Blood, the Phantom Blood movie program. Just shows art of the movie itself. Some summaries of the story promotional artwork 
and talks with the band that created the soundtrack for the movie. Next is a storyboard of episode 1 of Stardust Crusaders. One of my favorite things is this. These are anime souls from the original OVA of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So this is what the animators use to animate. I have an Avdo and Jotaro, Ponerif and Kakyoin, Kakyoin. Old Joseph. And lastly, Polnareff. I really like this one. I dropped water, but pretend that didn't happen. Next, I have an Ultra Jump graphics, which contains some artwork of JoJo. Some JoJo pamphlets. This one has some of Rocky's works. This one is just like a summary for each part and talks about the villain of each part. Jojo 100.5 is has art from different manga creators just collaborating with Araki doing fan art. And it also has the early designs for the Steel Ball Run characters. Manga in theory and practice just shows how a Rocky makes his manga, tips for making a manga. Here's the Japanese version. Here's some other books a Rocky wrote about movies, what movies he likes, movie horror, how horror inspired JoJo. So here's the hardcover version of the Life of the Eccentrics. It's a uh, Manga Araki worked with his editor. Here's the smaller edition, the paperback. Next is the gorgeous Irene. Gorgeous Irene comes with the Gorgeous Irene, BT the Wicked Boy, Outlaw Man, Poker Underarms, Say Hi to Virginia. It comes with posters of the Gorgeous Irene. I really like these artworks. The Gorgeous Irene has a female protagonist which came out way before Phantom Blood which is really interesting. Some of Araki's other manga but in French. So this is the French collection. And here's the paperback edition of BT the Wicked Boy. Next up is the 2007 Eureka Hirohiko Araki interview. Comes with a little poster and the famous interview where Araki says that Dio is bisexual. Here's the paperback edition of Bow the Visitor. This is uh, a free comic book day comic that just has Phantom Blood. Here's some Jojolian postcards that came with the Last chapter of the Ultra Jump magazine. Here are some JoJo mouse pads from the JoJo exhibition. Here are some JoJo Veller stickers. So those are some stickers. More Steel Ball Run stickers. Some JoJolian clear files. Steel Ball Run clear file. Some Steel Ball Run. I guess you could like stamp these on your t-shirt. Here's some postcards. Oh, and here are some two posters I have. And here's the Jolene artwork I made. It for the video, make sure to follow me on TikTok to ignore you and on Instagram, Gucciarati.